Interior Stars, Astrology of the Chakras, a video produced, directed, and presented by Reverend Dr. Dickie Joe Mullen. In this video, Dr. Mullen reflects on this concept of as above, so below, in looking at the horoscope of the chakra within. In the video, Dr. Mullen spends significant time talking about the chakra energy centers harmonizing the interior energy of our lives. Note Reverend Dr. Mullen's art expression to the right of the chakras. Here now is Dr. Mullen. This is astrologer Dickie Jo Mullen in Orlando, Florida, with some thoughts about the horoscope within. Outer space as above, so below, is not so great as inner space. Within each of us, we have a full zodiac, and we have the full spectrum of the greater universe. A way to understand the specifics of what this means is to think about the chakras or the energy centers within the body. Harmonizing our interior stars, our interior energy centers, contributes to health, happiness, and well-being. These are called chakras. That's a Sanskrit word meaning wheel or lotus. Sometimes it's pronounced with the hard C as in chakra, but I like chakra better. It sounds more musical. There are seven interior chakras, and they symbolize the glands and organs in the body. The chakras are the living energy within each of us, the pulsating living universe. Think of pictures you might have seen of the sun or the moon with faces drawn on them. The universe is not a mindless blast furnace. It's alive, and it lives within each of us. Colors, sounds, crystals, and fragrances are linked to each of the different chakras. And these are the sun and the moon, the luminaries in the heavens, and the visible planets. That's those out as far as Saturn, beyond which we really have to have a telescope, and they become so much more distant. But we're going to talk about our nearest neighbors in the solar system. The base chakra at the root of the spine has the color red associated with it, and there are different systems of the planets, the sun and the moon with the various chakras. A popular one relates Mars, the planet of passion, desire, energy, to the root or the base chakra, and the musical note is C. If you want to play or hum a C note along with recognizing the color red at the base of the spine. The element is water. The fragrance, uh, the sense of smell goes with the base of the, the base chakra. It relates to the adrenal glands and the urge to survive. The Sanskrit seed stone is lam, L-A-M, lam. And if you chant the lam, and visualize red um, and focus on the root of the body. That helps with expansion of the ability to survive and general stability. The that is what we would focus on in balancing the base chakra. A little bit further up the spine, aligning with the navel, we have the sacral center. The color is orange. The musical note is D natural. And the Sanskrit sound is Vam. The element is water. That's the sense of taste that has to do with the reproductive system. And it's the urge to create not only human life, but our other creative processes. And the affirmation is I feel. The root chakra is I am. The third or the solar plexus chakra has to do with power, and it's the sun, the life force. The planet Venus relates to the second chakra. The third or solar plexus, of course, is the sun. I do. This is your action within the world. What is it that you do? This third chakra goes with the seed sound Ram, 
The musical note is E natural. The element is fire. This is the sense of eyesight. What do we visualize? What is illuminated by the sunlight? The gland is the pancreas. And this is the power, the personal power energy. If you ever have a great shock in your life, you'll say that hit me right in the gut, like I say a brick through it, symbolically speaking. At least we hope so. And that feeling of being struck down or hit means that an event or experience has hit your solar plexus chakra, and you have to work to rebalance that. Most people stop activating themselves at the solar plexus chakra. On its good side, it represents brightness, confidence, and optimism, whereas the second chakra is sensuality, tenderness, spontaneity, and the root chakra to review is the ability to survive. If we can raise our consciousness up to one or more of the upper chakras, that represents evolution and moving beyond the status quo, having a good quality of life on every level. For example, suppose there is a betrayal in a relationship. The lower three chakras will say, death, somebody's going to die. If I can't have him or her, nobody can, blah, 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 blah. If you've evolved a little further, you'll say, because I truly love you, go ahead and be happy in the new relationship. I'm smiling because how many of us can really do that, but that's our goal. The heart chakra, which is the largest chakra on my illustration, is true love the wellness of the well-being of the the beloved beyond ourselves. This is going the next step further toward the divine, the true concept of love, happiness and well-being of those that you would care about. The moon is often related to the heart chakra. Peacefulness, bliss, heartedness, let everything you do be done in love, in a conflict between the head and the heart, we always go with the heart. The color is green. The musical note is F. And yam is the seed sound. The element is air. This is the sense of touch. This goes with the thymus gland and the sense of love. Moving up a little bit further, we get to the Mercury Chakra, the fifth chakra, the um, ability to speak. If you ever are tongue-tied, if you have a shock and you just can't speak and aren't able to verbalize something, if your sounds and your words don't quite come out right, then there's a blockage in the fifth chakra. Someone who has a speech impediment or who's trying to use um, expressing things in a foreign language Working with the fifth or the throat chakra will help you. Creative expression is the message of the fifth chakra. And with this chakra, the color is blue. The musical note is G. And the Sanskrit letter is Ham. This is ether or spirit. It's the sense of hearing. In a conversation, we have to hear in order to speak the two sides of a conversation. The gland is the thyroid gland, and your urge is here to communicate. Next, we have the third eye moving into the sixth sense in the center of the forehead. Those who are working with psychic ability will often feel the urge to rub the third eye or will feel an itching or a sensation there. I see, this is clairvoyance beyond normal vision, and it's the third eye. The sixth chakra relates to Saturn, the planet of parameters. Limitation, time, and seeing inevitable consequences will go with the activation of that higher chakra. The color is indigo, and the musical note is A, and this is the Om. If you've been in a yoga or meditation class and the Sanskrit syllable Om is chanted or said, this is to activate that chakra. 
There are no earthly elements. We're going beyond the earth planes here. And there is no, uh, no tie with one of the regular senses. This is the pituitary gland, and the survival function is that of perception, higher thought, overcoming limitations. Finally, the seventh, or the crown chakra at the top, represents understanding. Jupiter, the largest planet, the planet of philosophy and religion, expansion, generosity, opening is the seventh, or the crown chakra. Our color is red-violet, the beginning and the end of the visible light spectrum, and the musical note is silence as far as the seed sound goes, but we can also use the B on the musical scale. So the color crystal to red-violet, which would mean the colors at either end of the visible light spectrum, infrared and ultraviolet, colors that aren't perceptive to the human eye goes here. There is no seed sound. This is the silent ohm within. At that point, you resonate everything on an interior level. And there isn't a sense and there isn't an element on the earth plane, but the gland is the pineal gland. And this is union or bliss with the divine. If you've had a sense of Shaktipa with uh, higher awareness of God, if you've felt in, sort of embodied by the human spirit, you've had a flash of awakening at the crown chakra. Very few beings, maybe very enlightened beings like a Buddha, might be there all the time. For the rest of us, we're fortunate once or twice in a lifetime to feel the true opening of the crown chakra. This is a wand that I use that represents the spine. And the colors within the wand are symbolized by crystals that I've put there that are to focus on and to visualize the colors coming up the spine, up to the head, where the crown chakra is. And this is a good exercise, this or an illustration of the human body with the colors. Visualize the energy rising from the spine. It's called the kundalini or the serpent power within. In order to rise above the solar plexus to hopefully reach the heart, true love, and the higher chakras. After doing this for a while, sometimes there will be a spontaneous feeling of the legs moving in like a uh, a bicycle movement, kind of like a twitching of moving and riding a bicycle. If you dream of that or do that when you're just sitting quietly, that's a very, very good sign that the kundalini is awakening. And to review, these are the words that go with each of the chakras. The base of the spine is I am. The second sacral center, the navel center, is I feel. The third of the solar plexus, I do. The fourth of the heart chakra is I love. The fifth of the throat, I speak. And the sixth or the third eye chakra is I see. And finally at the top is I understand. This is astrologer Dickie Jo Mullen wishing you a bright and beautiful journey through your horoscope and your journey of the celestial truths within. Reverend Dr. Dickie Jo Mullen, astrologer, psychic reader, and parapsychologist. Reverend Dr. Mullen provides astrology, psychic tarot, and rune readings, as well as face-to-face -face and Zoom seances. She also provides a number of webinars. Thank you for watching today. Reverend Dr. Dickie Jo Mullen can be contacted at skymaiden at juno.com her webmail address she also has a facebook page and the wordpress site as well i will leave these up for a second have a good day